Hi, Stacy here with Bluebird Paper and Thread. Thank you for joining me today. Today is Sunday, March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy birthday to my sister. Happy birthday to my friend's husband. Uh, anybody else that shares a birthday on St. Patrick's Day, happy birthday to you too. Um, this is the second time I'm filming this video. I had to film the video. I filmed the video just um, right before this and the dog was in here and he was being really good and he was just chewing on his toy and you could hear it, but he was also hitting the table. And so it was moving my computer. So it kept like shaking and I just, I couldn't do that to you guys. So I thought I'm just gonna, he's in his bed now. I'm just going to start over, start fresh. So that is what I am going to do. Uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome. This is a channel on my hobbies, which is cross stitching. Um, a, a little bit of sewing, eventually some quilting, paper crafting. I like to make cards, gift tags, gift boxes, treat boxes, that kind of a thing. And um, if you like what you see, I hope that you will take a quick second and hit the subscribe button. Uh, button and ring the notification bell um, and like the video, share the video, comment on the video, all of the things. Um, I do love what I, um, I do love my hobbies and I do love sharing it with all of you. It's a really great community and I am so pleased that um, a few of you like, like what I have to offer. Uh, market. So I'm coming to you today because, um, next week I will be in the mountains on a retreat with work and about 70, 80, 90 kids. It's our annual retreat and, um, I'm going in a supervisory capacity and, um, I'm kind of hoping that this will be the last, um, the last time I have to do it. I do love going up there. I don't love the drive on Friday night. We take the high school kids up first on Friday night and then the middle schoolers join us on Saturday. And, um, the retreat location is about an hour and a half away from where I live. And it takes three and a half to four hours to get there because we leave on Friday and in rush hour traffic. Once I'm there, it's lovely. Coming home, it takes just moments in comparison to going up. Um, so <clears throat> that's what I'll be doing this next weekend. <laughs> so this video will post, I'm filming it today and it will be posting a week later from when I'm filming it so that you can see it on my normal posting day, which is Saturday. Um, market haul. It came in, I'm so excited and so thrilled I love everything in this box. So I'm going to just jump right in and I'm going to start sharing. Um, I'm going to start with a freebie from Tiny Modernist, Life in Full Bloom. It's so cute. Really, really so cute. So I'm happy to have that. <coughs> I picked up, um, I ordered everything through Lindy Stitches and I chose Lindy this year because she combined orders and shipped it all at one time and refunded the difference on shipping. So that in my mind was a win-win. So I thought I need to buy one of her patterns and there are so many that I really love, but I really fell in love with this one let every creature rise and bring peculiar honors to our king. I love, I love the animals. I love the color palette. It's just fun and funky. And I think I'm going to really enjoy this. Um, I, I kitted this too. So I bought it and I, I paid for the, um, Weeks Dye Works flosses that, are called for. So I have everything that I need for Weeks Dye Works. I still need to pick up about 10 DMCs. 
or pull from my stash. I don't, I don't think I have them all, but that is easy to do. I mean, that's $5 in DMC. So, and then I picked up the called for fabric, which is 32 count linen in spending amnesia. And it is a beautiful green. And this side has darker modeling and this side is lighter, a little bit lighter. So I might, I might do it on this side. We'll see. I'm just um, really excited to have it. And um, I, I thought perhaps when it came before I read the, the chart and verified the flosses were all here, I thought, oh, maybe I'll start it this weekend. And well, I don't like to start projects until I have all of the flosses. So I have to wait on that one. <clears throat> I also picked up, and I don't know if this is a market release or not, but I picked up some 32 count Orchid Belfast linen by Zweigart and it's a beautiful orchid purple color I just felt like I needed some purple this will be great for um, Halloween stitches or spring stitches so I grabbed that as well <clears throat> I picked up the Teresa Kogut Hello Spring, and this one I debated on quite a bit because I have most of the charts or access to most of the charts individually through the Patreon club or, or group that she has. <clears throat> the only two that I don't have access to is um, Sweet Wren, because that's a new, a new chart, and Stitchers Strawberries. So I wasn't going to order this. And then, but I really like those two new charts. And then I started thinking every chart she included in here pretty much is on my list that I want to buy and stitch. Some of them I've already purchased, some of them I have not. But wouldn't it be nice to have a good quality pattern in my stash? rather than a paper that I printed from the computer that can fade and get all wrinkly and tattered very easily. So I, I just decided to buy the booklet. So this is Cottage Bouquet. Probably have seen that out and about. I think several people have already stitched that because it was a, all of these were Patreon charts, I believe. <clears throat> Cottage House. Home Sweet Home. And of course, she's got her artwork in here too. Buzzing of the Day. Strawberry Delight. So many beautiful reds in these charts. And Cherry Jubilee. And then Stitcher's Strawberries and um, the Wren. So I picked up this. <coughs> I also picked up Spring is Hope. I love the shape of this pillow, and I think I'm going to try to make it into a heart. We shall see how that works out. And Wherever There Are Birds. And, you know, what is there not to like about this chart? That bird is going to be... A challenge to stitch because it's you know big and it's dark but I I think I'm gonna love it so that was what I picked up from Teresa Kogut <clears throat> Primrose Cottage I grabbed the 12 monthly minis because look at how adorable they are and this book is so nicely done I'm thinking it's I mean, this is a regular size, you know, booklet, and then this is smaller, and I just, one chart per page, 
Um, so this is the chart, and then you've got your photo, and then you've got photos on the inside covers. I just, so excited. <clears throat> the back these are all the flosses here um, DMC but it these flosses stitch all of the different pillows so I think what I'm gonna do is pull these flosses or get these flosses and throw them all into a project bag and just be done with it so I can work from a project bag I also picked up Primrose Cottage um, Patriotic Quaker I in her last, one of their last uh, floss tubes, I did pose the question if they were going to have the finishing kits for these, and they are, which is good because I'm having a hard time finally finding the color in cotton, old lace, and stargazing, and I'm going to assume at some point in time cherry cobbler is going to be hard to find. And then I picked up the red, white, and blue quilt. <clears throat> and the snowman 2024 I think this is a new series so she did snowman for 2023 here and now we've got 2024 here on this one I'm going to change the hat band and the scarf to this blue um, because I wanted it more for winter versus Christmas and that's a very Christmassy look to me and this one I think I can keep at all year round or all winter once I get it finished. Heart in hand, I bought, <coughs> excuse me, any tiny town. More any tiny town. and Frosty Tiny Town. <clears throat> Hands-on design. I picked up Liberty Pennies. Botanical Bee. I love that fabric. If I don't have something close to this fabric, I know Lindy Stitches is selling this color right now, so I might have to pick up the actual linen, but we'll see. I'm going to, I have to stop spending at some point. I'm going to try to find something in my stash because I do have some brighter, like blue colors. So we'll see. Plum Street Samplers. I picked up Nelson. I didn't understand Nelson, but here on the back, about this design, George Washington was gifted his war horse Nelson by his friend and Nelson's namesake, Thomas Nelson. Washington retired his faithful steed at Mount Vernon after the war, where he was said to visit him often at his paddock, when the old war horse would run, neighing to the fence, proud to be caressed by the great master's hand. Washington grew magnolia trees and lilacs on his plantation, which are depicted in this design. Who knew? Probably a lot of you knew. I didn't know. <laughs> Stacy Nash, Maggie May. I wasn't going to buy any of her charts at, with this go around. <clears throat> and then I started thinking, you know, I don't really have much for Easter in the way of stitchy things. And I can just see her. I'm, I am going to try to make her uh, finish her shaped um, so that she would be a cute shaped doll pillow in my, in my displays. I just think that would be adorable. And I think her, her shape would be easy enough to do that I should be able to do it just fine. <clears throat> And then I grabbed Tiny Modernist, Follow Your Heart. And honestly, 
it's the typewriter it's the typewriter because it's purple it's the purple flowers I'm wondering if maybe this how this would look on this fabric it's just purple everywhere And then I picked up uh, the proper stitchers uh, design always and always. I must have flowers always and always. Just sweet, vintagey looking, samplery looking. And then I picked up Lucky You. Obviously, not for this year, but it's okay. Maybe next year. <clears throat> and um, that is my haul. Uh, please remember, I know that some people might say that this seems like it's a lot. And dollar-wise, it was a lot. However, um, I save my credit card points for things like this. So I'm going to start saving my credit card points for um, when new designs come out in the fall or when I want to kind of pad my stash. <clears throat> so I um, so I really only spent maybe $100 out of my pocket, maybe 150 tops because I did do a couple of extra orders. But honestly, it, it didn't cost me, I mean, okay, yeah, I guess if you're getting points, you've spent the money, but the money was going to get spent anyways. I put everything on my credit card so that I can have some fun money when something like this happens, when market happens or the fall releases happen so that I'm not spending that kind of money later. I'm spending, I always seem to go over, you know, it's like when I go to the scrapbook expos, I take cash with me. And when the cash is gone, I'm pretty good about stopping the spending. And I do allow myself 50 to $100 additional on the credit card if there's something that I forgot. Um, and I absolutely have to have. But honestly, when the cash is gone, the shopping stops. So um, that way I can have fun, but it is planned fun. It's like people that that go to Vegas, you know, they might have a budget and when that money is gone, they stop gambling. You know, I mean, that's just kind of the same, the same thing. <clears throat> um, they also sent me, I, I was not expecting this, but they also sent me the um, cookbook. I th could have sworn I received an email saying that they took this out of my order and here it is. So, um, and I didn't actually see a credit come through on my credit card. So I'm, I'm going to use this as a giveaway in the future, near future. So stay posted on that. Make sure you come back if you want a chance at winning the cookbook, this cookbook, I haven't even really looked at the recipes, but the charts in here are to die for. They are so cute. I, showed you a few of the charts in the video from this week. I think floss tube 70 is the video. Um, so if you're interested, I'll link that one in this video so that you can easily go back and watch it if you want to. Um, I think it would be great. Even if you cut out, I would buy a booklet like this. They're all great little smalls. I would even buy a booklet like this with a small chart in it from every, all of the designers that are listed on the back and more without the recipes. How fun is it to have all these different styles and um, chart themes at your fingertips? I just, um, I don't know. I just, I'm so happy. I may have to, um, pick up last year's, which I wasn't going to do. So, um, I have one more haul order coming in, but it's not a market haul. <clears throat> I didn't have 
a lot of the called for um, over dyed flosses for the Brenda Gervais charts that came out this spring, the bunny ones. Um, I don't even remember the names. Grandma's Candy Dish, the bunny bucket, um, and there's another one. Welcome Spring or something like that. So I ordered the flosses for that. I also did not have enough fabric in the right count to do a couple of those charts. So I ordered some fabric to finish those charts up. I also um, ordered some additional fabric so that I have more of a stash. I'm actually starting to think because what I tend to do is put this in a project bag as is so that I don't have to worry about, did I cut it big enough? Did I cut it too small? Like panic. But now I'm like, I keep, I need to go through and cut my pieces down so that I have more fabric to, um, to work with. Um, so I, I'll probably do that early summer or, you know, late spring. We'll see. But anyway, so the order that's coming from, um, I ordered that one from Hollis Hands, has the over dyed that I need for those projects, a couple of cuts of fabric for those projects, and then a, a few cuts to add to my stash. Um, and then I think that that's it, aside from the things that I've, I've, I subscribe to for monthly deliveries. So um, that's the last order that I believe I'm waiting for. Um, I will probably, if I can't find the flosses for the Primrose Cottage um, Patriotic Quaker, where is it? This one, Patriotic Quaker. If I can't find the flosses for that, then I will probably order a finishing kit for this one. So we'll see. I just love red, white, and blue together. Uh, anyways, I think that that is it. I hope that, um, I hope that your St. Patrick's day was safe and, um, and that you had a, a relaxing time, a good time. I mean, being that it's on Sunday, that's helpful. Um, I will be coming back Saturday before Easter, although I'm hosting Easter. So We'll see how much time I have. Um, I'm going to try to do a little cleaning next weekend for, or the, or for the week leading up to Easter. Cause I do host. Um, I also have to figure out what I'm going to do for, for dinner for Easter. Actually, if you guys have any suggestions, <laughs> drop it in the comment box below. I would, um, I'm kind of at a loss. Um, uh, my sister wants to celebrate her birthday and do the family party that day too, we usually go out, but honestly, I don't want to go out to a restaurant on Easter. So, um, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know. Thoughts? I'm welcoming them. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you have a great week ahead. Um, a great rest, rest of your weekend. And until next time, uh, happy stitching. Bye.